going to show you how to use the Raspberry Pi B2 to, to remotely control the Mansion XCS laboratory power supply via the Ethernet and using the Mansion application. In this demonstration, we're going to use two different models of the same series of power supply and each is connected to the port uh, port 2 and port 4 of the Raspberry Pi. Let's have a look at the wiring of the connections between the power supplies and the Raspberry Pi. Okay, the, as you can see from the back, okay, each, there's a, each model has its own USB connectors. Okay connected to the Raspberry Pi 2 and 4 port. Now, on the iPad, start up the app, Mansion app, and then touch the Add device. Uh, low 8, we have so many devices, okay? You have to select the right model. Here we use XCS 3404, okay? And then you key in the, a name of your preference, Okay, uh, now here, uh, please be reminded that the Raspberry Pi has already been installed with the Mansion app driver, which is shown on a separate video, okay? Now, uh, you key the right IP address and the correct port for we use port 4, as you can see, all right, for 3404, okay, okay, now we go to save, okay, this is very important step, and then now you can see it's been registered on the iPod, <coughs> now we add one more, power supply, and here we choose XCS 3600, okay, as shown before, and then you can key in any identification and remarks as you like, and um, but make sure you key in the right IP address and the correct port, all right, okay, here we use port 2 for the second power supply. Right, and then save, very important step. Now you can see immediately two power supplies be registered. Now we touch the first power supply, 3404, and then must link it up. Okay, as you can see, now it's linked up. Take note of the power supply remote light is on, all right? While the other power supply, which has not been linked up, the remote light is not on, as you can see from here. Okay, now, this power supply is connected to port 4. The next power supply, which be registered, we're going to link up again. Okay, touch it. Okay, touch the link up button. Now it's linked up. Now, both power supply should have the remote light on. Okay, now this is it. Once the power supply is on remote control mode, all right, now none of the vol uh, voltage or current control is working. Now in this video, we're gonna show you how to use the iPad to control the output on off and uh, adjust the vo voltage and current of the each power supply and also the monitoring of the power supply. Now here, the power supply HCS3600 is being monitored, but at the same time, we can also see what's going on on the other power supply. All right. Okay, as you get, now let's do some adjusting, all right, on the 3600 power supply, 
Okay, let's change the voltage. All right, increase the voltage in this demo, and then okay, all right, and then you have to push the enter button, enter twice. Okay, once it's been activated, it becomes a CC mode now. All right, so let's increase the current and increase it to three point something. All right, let's say uh, three point eight. Okay, now press the enter button once, it's blue color, and then press it again, it's really confirmed. And then the color changed to black, and then now it changed to CV mode now. We can do output on off now. Let's do off. Okay, now output is off. Okay, and there's no current, no voltage. Right, let's look at the power supply. Now it shows output off here. Okay. Now similarly, we can do the same thing for the other power supply. Okay, do the same thing all over. Uh, now in this one, we're going to show you the monitoring function of the application. Okay, touch the app monitoring icon, and now uh, do add touch at the monitor. And then press, and then touch, and then choose the device for this app for this monitor. You can select the device, and you can make your own name. All right. These are the two power supply which are connected, and then you can select the time for scanning. Okay, from one second to ten hours. Okay, now we use one second and then you press start and it will start getting information from the upper terminal of the power supply. Okay, and then we do the monitor 2 for the second power supply in similar manner. Alright, okay. Okay, so now as you can see there are two power supply being monitored All right Okay, and then you choose the start now And then both power supply are being monitored simultaneously and you can see Each one by touching the uh, Right button, okay now, if we change the setting of the power supply, and then you can see immediately, okay, there's a change, all right, in the output graph of the power, power supply. Say, for example, here we increase the electronic low. All right, and you can see the current right changes. All right, and it has instantaneous reaction to the uh, power supply, and you can export the image as well by email. All right.